You were just standing there with the wind in your golden hair. Didn't know your name. But I can feel it with every heart. <laughs> you're always you have, you're that's because so you have a hat. Let's, let's talk about this bed head that you have. Turn your head. I know I went me. I went in the I went yeah. in the, you let me go in to give in and out no, burger. No, you know what? You're a She big would not boy. go into In and Out Burger and she sent me in there. You had a hat on. Oh, well that I was driving the passenger. Look in the mirror before the passenger's we supposed to do things like no. go in and get fast food. Look in the mirror before you go outside. Alright, so we left this morning from San Diego and we drove we just entered Arizona. We drove through like some crazy Crazy terrain, yeah, I would call it terrain. And uh, I mean, how we, well, we, we saw very, it's, like it's all dry, desolate, deserty, but pretty much the dunes were really cool. The dunes were cool. All the different types of cactuses that changed, you know, every 15 minutes you'd be going to what? Kind of a different texture, if you will, or, mm -hmm. or geography and the trees and the landscape and everything would, uh, we pretty much change. Yeah, so they didn't build bridges, bridges on the back highways there through the desert areas. But evidently when they get rain, they get a deluge of rain because there's all these dry beds and they just have a dip in the road where when it, I guess it's raining and the water's just gonna run over the road. Um, no gas stations, so make sure you got plenty of gas on some of those back roads, mm -hmm. back well, highways. On highway, not an interstate. We basically went from San Diego and turned out I think Campo Road to uh, like, I'm not sure what highway we were on, but it was like o Ocotillo is where we went through. Highway 78. Um, just, it's crazy different geography than we've ever driven through before. We've driven west through Wyoming, Utah, Idaho, Montana, all those areas, Oregon, Washington. And obviously they're much more lush in those areas. Uh, down here in the in the desert conditions, it's just totally something I've never driven through before. So. Oh, the other thing that was pretty crazy is we drove through an area that said danger bombing range. Yeah, that's, that's that was kind of that's a little unsettling. I can't imagine driving through there and having bombs that you could see going off in the in the field near you know not near the highway but not too far Still. from the highway. Uh, the signs basically just said, or danger, feeling, do not enter, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the other thing was uh, this area that just out of nowhere looked like it was, not, I want to say corporate, it just, there was activity, there oh. was some lights, and was uh, a, a it showed nothing strip. on Google's map, but it looked like a... Unless you looked on satellite, and then there was a landing strip there with yeah. lights. And there was just one sign that said a gold mine and that's all it said and, and it was, was just fenced with it was all fenced with barbed wire so maybe it was a gold mine but it was a little there was no, no no forms of life around at all that you could really see no workers there was no homes nearby no office buildings just uh kind of crazy maybe we'll try to figure out what that is so we're going to continue on to prescott arizona now right yep. all right Falcon all-terrain <clears throat> tow bar by Roadmaster. Uh, we towed it from all the way from San Diego to Prescott. It seems to be working great. We're just going to disconnect it real quick so Chris can uh, do some laundry. She wanted to see how to disconnect it. Basically your safety chains connect right to the uh, tow bar that was installed by um, Camping World for us. <clears throat> and then Remove this pin. There we go. We have to release this to release the pressure on it. Connections. Do the same thing over here. There we go. Alright. So if you want to take these out. These can come out easily too. You just pull the little, pull the pin to release it and twist and it comes right out. It's supposed to be on 
Good morning from Prescott Valley, Arizona. We boondocked here last night. We took off yesterday from San Diego and we headed east and we had our first stop in Prescott Valley, Arizona. We're just gonna be here for part of the day. We're having uh, lunch with one of Chris's friend's mothers who um, Chris really grew up with and really treats almost as a second mom. So we're gonna have lunch with her and then we're going to head towards Albuquerque. But I thought you might want to know if you're in Prescott Valley, Arizona or traveling through Prescott Valley, Arizona, where is a good place to overnight park? And there is a nice parking lot here. It used to be a Sam's Club, but it uh, closed down. There's quite a few other businesses uh, nearby, as you can see the plaza behind me. So uh, there's a Dick's Sporting Goods. There's a Chick-fil-A right across the street. Um, it's one of the main, I think, shopping areas in Prescott Valley. We didn't have any issues at all. There was a, uh, a truck driver that's also boondocking uh, just behind us. And uh, the plenty of places to eat and shop nearby if you need to. Chris ran, as you can see, the Jeep's not connected. She ran to do some laundry this morning. So we're gonna get some laundry done, catch up on uh, some video work maybe while she's doing laundry, have a nice lunch at Cracker Barrel and then we're gonna head towards Albuquerque